Hi, and welcome to the Otana Today Show this February 14th. We'd like to give a shout out to our Valentines, our supporters, those people who stepped step forward and said thank you so much for doing this show and we want to be a part of it. So we'd like to thank our premier supporters. They include the City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, Owatonna Public Utilities, Safe and Drug Free Coalition of Steel County, and the United Way of Steel County. Also a thank you to our primary supporters. They include Amy Swain, Hearing Centers, and Little Theater of Owatonna. And we could not do this without our interlude supporters. They include Abraham Consulting Technologies, Brenda Bednar Mortgage, Glenn Meager and Tim Thomas of Brick Meager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Carlson Branstead and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, Glantern Sun Landscaping and Concrete, Napa Auto Service, Owatonna Business Incubator, Profinium Financial, r &K Electric, Snap Fitness, Steel County Historical Society, Steel County Transitional Housing, The Third Hand Incorporated Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. Thank you so much to each of these businesses. And if you're out and about, if you'd like to thank them, just give them your business and let them know you've seen them right here on the Owatonna Today Show. That'd be super awesome. And wish them a happy Valentine's Day as well. Please stay with us. We've got a great show coming up. We're going to be talking with those who, for the Brew Fest, for Culture Fest folks, as well as the Owatonna Figure Skating, Figure Skating Club. So stay with us. We will be right back. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson Branstead & Company, certified public accountants. We support the Owatonna Today Show. you can talk to we're growing with you with you in mind in everything we do oh a ton of public utilities greetings i'm laura wrestler director of the steel county historical society and i welcome you to our history center we invite you to join in all our activities events where we honor the past and look towards the future and we are back with the Owatonna Today Show. It's time to talk about Brewfest. It's coming up in just one week. I have with me Mike Jensen as well as Rod Baker. Gentlemen. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> Hi. I'm so excited. To, so uh, Leanne wanted me to ask you what you're getting your brides for Valentine's. I won't. Oh, Dodge good. that bullet for you. <laughs> but Because I want to talk about this. This is Brewfest. This is an opportunity to raise little funds. We could get them tickets to this. <gasps> we could get big. That will work. That yeah. would work. And it sounds like a great date night. It really it does. does. A Friday night Friday out. Friday night yeah. out. And all kinds of great food and yeah. great great social activity. See? There that you go. That would be done. Done. Done and done. There well, we I'm go. Let's start with you. Let's talk about, first of all, um, what is going on. This, this is Brewfest. Okay. Food and Brew Fest is, uh, it came from Culture Fest. Culture Fest uh, is a multicultural outdoor festival that happens the fourth Saturday in September. And um, Food and Brew Fest is our only fundraiser of the year that we do um, to really try and raise some additional much needed funds. I mean, as you know, with any festival or program, um, it definitely takes money to run those. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, as we were talking earlier before we came on the air, um, in the past, we've done a variety of, you know, Irish brew fest, German brew fest, um, specific country that we focused on to create the event. Uh, last year was the first time we joined with the Steel County Historical Society at the History Center, and kind of changed things up and called it Worlds of Flavor Food and Brew Fest. And for us, I think it was probably one of the easiest um, and most successful years that we've had in doing that. Uh, it really gives us an opportunity to explore and touch on a lot of different countries, um, whether that's through the beers that we have available or uh, through the foods that are available, because you'll get a whole variety of foods in the evening, uh, as well as um, bringing the home brewers on. They had been a part of the event before, uh, but we were able to um, bring them on to where people, everyone that comes as a judge mm -hmm. that's of 21 years of age or older is a judge, and they get to evaluate and judge the home brews so they get to sample them, and then um, we pick or vote on uh, the, the favorite for the evening, and there's a gorgeous Stein, Stein that they get, yeah. and the winner you know, really enjoys that. And um, we have a great group of, uh, I think it's about 10 folks that are home brewing, so... It makes for a nice, fun evening. Well, and on top of that, Rod, you've also got um, 
beers from different countries. How many different countries do we have beers from this year? Well, it'll probably be about four or five is okay. what I do. And those and are cash bars. So you can That's come in. right. And so to complement the food that goes with the countries that we have, we have beers from those countries. So we'll have beer from Germany. We'll have beer from, from Mexico, from Australia, and certainly from the United States as well for people to select from. There's also wine pop and water as well mm -hmm. at the bar. But and coffee. And coffee. Do you have coffee from different countries as well? Um, actually, the coffee is. It's fair trade coffee that okay. we do, and we, get, we purchase that and, um, and make that available for people It's so really as well. something for everyone. It is something for mm -hmm. everybody. You know, it's whatever your palate kind of likes. You know, the great food that will be available, and so we want something also that obviously complements that and goes right along with it. Let's talk about the food a little bit, if you don't mind, Rod. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what, the, what countries will be represented this year. Well, what countries this year? We have uh, Australia. We have Germany. Uh, Germany, I know for sure we will have uh, a brat with a pretzel roll. They're fresh pretzel rolls. We get them out of a bakery in the cities that are excellent. It was a, it was a quite, really nice big hit last year. One of the brats come from Steve's, Steve's Meat Market. Steve's Meat Market right here, in, right south of town here. We have, hung, uh, from Hungary, we have goulash. From Korean, we're going to have a stir-fry vegetarian disease, d dish. I mean, when we started, I remember when we all started picking food, we are all looking around and goes, you know, there seems to be a lot of meat in this menu. <laughs> and, and, of course, Mike and I were just going, yeah, yeah what's yeah. the problem? <laughs> is? No issues. No yeah. issues whatsoever. Yeah. But we uh, said, no, we probably need to mix it up a little yeah. bit and probably maybe a little healthier, so we're doing that. Okay. From Mexico, uh, we do have, we're not exactly sure what they are, they're bringing, but they, they will something have something. It'll be very delicious. Well, and it's very ethnic, and we, I mean, there's a group of individuals that will be coming and, and preparing the food. So, each, so. Of these, each of these countries, it's, it really reminds me of Culture Fest. It's similar in, in flavor. Way, because you've got, they have also the different foods, varieties there as well. A little bit more variety than what they'll have tonight, because this night, because now these are just samples, is that correct? Correct. Yeah. And so each one, so uh, then we have some, <laughs> Rod walked in today and he said, so uh, is there a country called Scandinavia? <laughs> and we had to teach him. Exactly. No. <laughs> yeah. There's a region or there area. A region or area that made this list. I think instead of just listing a specific country, because we're trying got, to be more inclusive. Yes, yes. Get more people, more countries more, in. More countries in. That's right. a little area over there. They don't. Well, they all compete. The I mean, you say rosettes. Well, did that come from Sweden? From Norway? Yeah. If you say Scandinavia, hopefully we're covering. Because that's the dessert that will be there. Yeah. yeah. The Working with the Blooming Prairie Bakery on that. Oh, okay, fun. And then um, we do have some dishes from Somalia, Turkey, as well as the United States. So a lot of you were telling me that sometimes. You you don't even make it through the entire You don't. One of the nice things about this event, and, and I think people that have attended found out, is they can come with groups of friends, or even on their own, and, and they'll, they'll make friends. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's a real casual evening. There's no set agenda, no set schedule. You can get up and go sample the, um, the beers when you want. You can uh, get up and go sample the food when you want and um, just kind of make your way around. It's very social, very interactive. Uh, it's not like you're sitting down for a program. It's really a great chance to connect with friends mm -hmm. um, and, and strengthen relationships and, and have a good time. And you mentioned that um, there, the tables will be throughout, actually, the center itself. So you actually get to kind of see what's going on at the center right now. Right. We take over the entire history center. In the exhibit hall we'll have um, the homebrew um, tables set up and you can make your way around them. We'll probably have one or two of the food vendors uh, or tables set up in there as well. And then in the Wenger room, um, the other large room, we'll have some of the others. So everything is kind of spread out. So you have room, you have elbow room. Um, we put tables in the atrium, we put tables in the Lang Theater. Um, they're everywhere, you know, around the facility. So it is a great chance just to mix and mingle and be very social. And um, you mentioned that the, around the exhibit hall, what exhibit will be happening at that time? At that time, our main exhibit is the Entrepreneur Exhibit, mm -hmm. um, which is a new exhibit to the History Center. And it'll be coming online hopefully in the next week or so. Um, and it tells the story of 1850 to 1880, what was happening in the early development of Steele County, which will be a fun exhibit. I know that they're building, you know, a log cabin, a ra rail car, I mean, all kinds of um, really cool things will be happening in, in that space, as well as I think that they, the Korean War exhibit will mm -hmm. still be up at that time. Um, and that's a pretty powerful exhibit mm -hmm. to see as well. So, Rod, when people, how do they get to this event? What is, what are the details for uh, going attending? Attending. Yes. Okay. Well, the you can purchase tickets uh, from any Culture Fest board member. We have them available, along with Triumph Graphics and the History Center 
Is all the two? Do we have them? Kotke Jewelers. And Kotke Jewelers, of course. Jewelers, of course. Yeah. And I think they're pretty they're much so the awesome. ticket master they are. They of Oatana. They are. They start charging a little. They should, yeah, I can see a little awesome. fee. Yeah. But anyway, so those three are, I can say, the Culture Fest board members. The tickets are $25 a piece. Mm -hmm. uh, the hall or the, the event opens at 5 o'clock. You can come in from 5 to 6, and you can sample all the home brews that are available in the exhibit hall, which is a nice, so you get to see not only the entrepreneur, but you get to kind of, kind of just mix and mingle mm -hmm. as well. And then at 6 o'clock, we'll start serving food, and uh, the food stations will all open up, and you can just rest the evening and just enjoy. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, a great opportunity. And for $25, that's an amazing amount of food that you can and, exactly. and beverages to enjoy. Exactly. The one thing we do need to let folks know, tickets are becoming scarce. So they're going very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is, you know, when they hear this, this air, on air, please act quickly. Okay. Don't delay because there are only 300 tickets available. That is it. That's all we can handle capacity-wise. Mm. Um, so there is a definite finality. Last year, did you sell out? We did. Yeah, early too. So we hopefully, because mm -hmm. this is in a week, so we want to get those tickets exactly. sold as soon as There's possible. Exactly. left. No. Yep. Um, so we're looking at, we only have a, few, a little bit of time left, but looking out to the Culture Fest, what kind of exciting things do you think will be coming up in September? Well, I know that we're... Um, Focused on this right now, and then as soon as this is over, we'll be starting to work on next year's Culture Fest. Um, I know that there, Sue is working hard on entertainment opportunities, and um, there'll be lots of energy, and there's some possible new surprises, some new twists, um, but they haven't been finalized yet, so we'll have to stay tuned so for more details. So we're going to have you back so we can find out more information it. That's like that. it. Um, where can they find out who the board members are for Culture Fest so they can get tickets? Exactly. At our website. Right. If you um, go to culturefest.org, that's C-U-L-T-U-R-S. F E S T mm -hmm. dot org. Okay. There's no E at the in the fest part, I guess. So, so and of culture. Or culture, culture. Yeah. sorry. I can't spell either. <laughs> <It'd be cold laughs> <to fest. laughs> yeah, no, he's having a hard day today. It's been rough. Scandinavia, you know, yeah. Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. You can take a break. So he's focused you... on Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, exactly. that's all he's thinking about. Exactly. That's all he's, he's thinking right. about. How my wife is going to react when I get home tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Knowing you Andy, might want to probably she'll, be happy. She'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. I just want to thank you for your time. It's always a pleasure having you guys here, and we'll talk to you later, I'm sure, when Culture Fest comes Sounds around. Sounds good. All right? Thanks. Please stay with us. We will be right back. When using a fire extinguisher, we suggest using the pass system. Pull the pin at the top of the extinguisher that keeps the handle from being accidentally pressed. Aim the nozzle toward the base of the fire. Squeeze the handle to discharge the extinguisher. If you release the handle, the discharge will stop. Sweep the nozzle back and forth at the base of the fire. After the fire appears to be out, watch it carefully since it may reignite. If you have the slightest doubt about whether or not to fight the fire, get out and close the door behind you. This has been a safety message from the Otana Fire Department. Did you know that it is illegal in the city of Otana to host or allow a gathering where minors will be consuming alcoholic beverages on your property or in your residence? Did you know that it is illegal to provide minors with alcohol unless they are your own kids in your own home? Underage drinking leads to increased risk of future chemical dependency, engaging in more serious criminal activity, and becoming a victim of a crime. Please help keep our kids and our community safe by not encouraging, hosting, or allowing underage drinking. This is a message from the Oatana Police Department and the Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County. Hi, I'm Glenn Mager. And I'm Tim Thomas of the Brick Mager Funeral Home. And we're proud to serve the Medford and Oatana areas with cremation and traditional funeral services. And we're proud to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, I'm Rita Lesniak, and I play Alona Ritter. And I'm Kara Johnson, and I play Amalia Balish in LTO's current production of She Loves Me, directed by Bev Cashman and sponsored by Wenger Foundation. Performances of She Loves Me will be held Thursday through Saturday, February 13th, 14th, and 15th at 7.30 p.m., with a matinee on Sunday, February 16th at 2 o'clock. And again the following Thursday through Saturday, February 20th, 21st, and 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the LTO box office by calling 451-0764. Don't miss LTO's production of She Loves Me. 
And we're back with the Oatana Today Show. I have with me Val Wellnitz. She is with the Oatana Figure Skating Club. Hello. Hi. How are you? I am well. Thank you. Nice. Thank you so much for taking time yes. out today on this Valentine's Day. I'm sure you had plans all day long. Yes. I'm very busy <laughs> eating chocolate and <laughs> looking at my Getting beautiful flowers. Bubble bath. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone <course>. has. <laughs> those Valentine's Days are always the yes. best. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want to thank you for coming in today because we want to talk about the Oatana Figure Skating Club. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the club itself. Sure. Um, the club has been around since 1977, so um, about 36 years in, in Oatana, um, and it's, you know, been going pretty strong since then. We've had some, you know, b before all the girls' sports really took off, we had, you know, a real high number of skaters, but so we've had ups and downs in terms of participation, but mm -hmm. um, we're trying to keep it strong and keep a strong uh, basic skills, learn to skate type program going to introduce people to the sport mm -hmm. of figure skating. Um, and that's really been kind of a focus this year is we uh, kind of rebranded mm -hmm. our learn to skate program. And so people may see that out on our website a little bit. We're, we're still the Oatana Figure Skating Club, but we're um, the, the basic skill program is called Oatana Skate School. Oh, okay. um, really to try to focus you don't have to be a figure skater to participate in our skate school. Right. I mean, it's it's for anybody that wants to learn to skate, try it out, see, you know, just get on the ice and learn your basic how to stop, how to skate around, how to keep your balance. Um, the coaches have so much experience in um, teaching you know, all ages, really, but, um, you know, especially young kids that, that want to skate, and you could be a hockey player. We've had some brothers of... <laughs> of girls that want to try figure skating. Um, we've had a couple hockey kids come through and just get some extra practice, extra mm -hmm. skills. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really what's going on new this year is we have the Oatana Skate School. Um, and then the figure skating club tends to be, we have a, a core group of about 10 girls this year. Um, and, you know, they're more of the upper level skaters mm -hmm. and some of them, we have one senior and three juniors this wow. year that are, have been skating for many years. I wow. mean, they've been skating since they've been little. So the quality <laughs> of their skating um, is very exciting to watch. Oh, it's nice. fun, fun to see. Well, you mentioned that you just had a competition. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about, little bit about that. Um, we had five of our club skaters this past, um, at the end of January, I guess it was, um, travel up to Duluth for the Northland figure skating competition. Um, and it's a four day event, very, um, prestigious competition for figure skaters. There's hundreds of skaters wow. that come from Minnesota, North Dakota, Canada, um, very large event in Duluth. And, um, we had five girls attend and it was a Thursday through Sunday. And so every day there was events going on. They, they competed in, um, you know, basically some short programs like spins or jumps, just focusing on, on the elements of figure skating. And then um, they competed in the free skate program, which is more like what you would see if you were to watch the Olympics mm -hmm. with the music and everything playing. That's the, the free skate program. And then um, everybody participated, participated in an artistic program, which is more for entertainment, very theatrical. <laughs> and, you know, they put wear different costumes and... Mm -hmm skate to music that has words, you know, <laughs> <laughs> lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was very exciting. There was also uh, three of the girls competed in a team event this year. Uh, it was a team compulsory event, which is, again, just focusing on some elements of the figure skating, the, te the technical elements. Um, so that was a first for, for the girls. Um, we had several first place, second place. I, wow. I mean, it was very exciting it, at such a tough competition yeah. to get some of those first, second, third, I think we had first, second, third, fourth places in just about every event. Oh, that's so, so exciting. That was very that's exciting to make see. Make you feel like yes. you're doing the right thing down here right, in Oatana Figure right. Skating Club. Well, and, you know, the Olympics are just right around the corner. Yes. In fact, they've already started. And so to, for these girls who are passionate about skating mm -hmm. to see this kind of stuff, um, it's got to be an exciting time for them as well. You bet. Yeah. Yes. The, the Olympics are... Um, fun to watch, very inspiring for the girls, and um, that's really the focus of our show this year. Uh, the, the name of the show is Festival of Champions, and it's a spinoff of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of a celebration of the sport, and um, 
we're really focusing on the countries that participate in the Olympics mm -hmm. and the music that, uh, you know, we, we have chosen some different music from the, the different countries and it might just be like an artist from that country oh, okay. or, a, you know, a real celebration of that the music that type of music like china or mm -hmm. um russia that that type of thing mm -hmm. so um it's really kind of a focus on the international aspect of the sport and i think it's important for people to understand that when they come <clears throat> see they're going to see actually very good skating as you said you have yes. some skaters first second third fourth place on and almost every event yes so these aren't just little girls not knowing what yep. the, there will be some cute little girls I suppose there are absolutely as well, we have the whole range we have <laughs> um, I think five basic skills groups this year so oh. so that that ranges from you know people that have this is their very first time skating mm -hmm. um, all the way up to like I said the juniors and seniors in mm -hmm. high school that have been doing this for quite some time and they are beautiful to mm -hmm. watch it's very exciting to watch them skate. So, so it's kind of for everyone. This is, mm -hmm. this is an opportunity for people. Do they, is it also a fundraising event for the club, or is it just for fun? It's mostly for fun. We, we, we'd love to make some money on it, but <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't always happen. Well, when is the event itself? Um, it is Saturday, February 22nd okay. at 7 p.m. Okay. at the Four Seasons Center in Owatonna. And everyone is welcome to come. Yes, yep. There is an admission cost of $5. We're selling tickets ahead of time. Um, the the tickets will be available from any of the skater families, and information about ticket sales can be found on our website. Okay. Um, we also have a dress rehearsal on Friday, the twenty first, and there will be um, people available that night at the rink selling tickets for oh, okay. anybody that would like to purchase tickets in so advance. Get ahead of time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How many uh, girls and boys will be in this event? Uh, approximately twenty five. Okay. This year, yeah. Now I know in the past that parents have also been a part of the skating mm -hmm. um, show. Will they be this year? Not this year. Okay. No. So it'll no. be fun just to see the kids out there yep. doing their own thing. Yep. Um, you have had a daughter who's been in the figure skating yes. club. How long has she been in it? This will be her fourth year, okay. her fourth show with the club. Okay. And yeah. what have you seen? Um, have how have you seen her grow through being a part of this? Um, you know, skating is something she she has just really grown to love and. Uh, it's something that she works really hard at. Not something when we started. I kind of thought it would just be a we'll we'll try these <laughs> lessons and we'll go back to whatever sport that she wanted to do. But um, it's really in installed a, a sense of purpose for her um, to set goals and to work on things. She loves to focus on um, the different levels of figure skating. You can take tests when, and you know work on your skills. And once you have mastered a skill, you take a test in front of a U.S. figure skating judge. And um, that's been something that has been really motivating to her to, to continue to progress through the levels. Mm. There's always something new to learn. It, it doesn't get boring mm. type of thing. Um, so it's been fun, a fun experience for, for us as a family too because we never <laughs> knew anything about the sport and right. we're kind of learning as we go as well, she Well, then I think that's so important progresses. because, you know, we, we know we see the people do their skating on mm -hmm. the big skating things, but there is such a technical side to it right. too. That, and it is truly a sport. Yes. Um, it, the physicality that the skaters have to have is just incredible. You have to be an athlete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, now, is she proficient in her jumps yet, or how is she doing with some of those fun Yeah, things? Um, she knows several jumps, okay. um, you know, things like toe loops and, and sow cows, things <laughs> like that. She's working on an axle. That's kind of the big figure skating jump mm -hmm. that, that people really strive to, to work on. Um, mm -hmm. She doesn't have that landed yet, but mm -hmm. she's... Working hard on it. It'll probably be a matter of time. Well, and what's great, and I love that you have the skate school because mm -hmm. we live in Minnesota and it's cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a lot of ice around. Right. And so to be able to have the skate school for anybody yep. to get those skills so that when even when they're older, they can... So she'll yep. keep this skill for oh, sure. a lifetime. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So when is the event again? It is Saturday, Saturday, February 22nd. And they can get tickets through any skate family. Yes. Or the day of, they can get tickets yes, there. Yes, they can. And yes. about how long will the program be, do you think? Uh, probably about 90 minutes okay. or so. Okay. Yep. Just a lot of fun and beautiful music and yes. great skating. Yep. If you enjoy watching the Olympics on TV, you can come see some local talent, basically. Yeah. It's um, the, sh the show will kind of coincide right with the end of the Olympics. Oh, okay. So, so it's a great time to have Great that. timing. Good. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time here, Val. Thank you. I really you. appreciate it. We will be right back. Please stay with us. Hi, I'm Amy Martinez. And I'm Adam Martinez, owners of Snap Fitness in Watana. 
Snap Fitness is a fast, convenient, and affordable fitness center, and we're proud supporters of the Otana Today Show. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life, a quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. And we're back with the Oatana Today Show. We do want to thank our guests for joining us on this Valentine's, and hopefully you also will have a great Valentine's Day. I'd like to give a shout-out to my personal Valentine, Chris. Hey. Um, we do want to remind you that the State Emergency Operations Center has established a public hotline for Minnesotans with propane issues or questions. The hotline will operate Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Minnesota residents with questions about the current propane situation or who are in danger of running out of heating fuel can call one 800 657 3504. The Little Theater of Otana is announcing it's eligible, looking for eligible candidates for its 2014 Vita Alexandra LTO scholarships. Contact your guidance counselor for more information or check out the Little Theater of Otana website. All application components should be postmarked by Friday, March 28th. The Otana Arts Center and Little Theater of Otana are hosting the Sweet Arts Valentine's Day dinner and show this Friday. Tonight you'll enjoy a fabulous catered meal at 5:30, and then head over to LTO for the musical She Loves Me. You can get tickets uh, at the. You can read more about the musical at the Little Theater website. You can check out um, those tickets anytime you want, and they can. Uh, it'll be a great time to get out and enjoy that time with your family. Tonight it's the Riverbend Nature Center uh, Youth Night. Lock out, lock in, I guess. On the tonight through tomorrow morning, the adventure will include exploring the nature center after dark, learning more about animals that come out once the sun has gone down. It's the full moon, so weather is dependent activities may include snowshoeing, kick sledding, night hike, arts and crafts, movies, pizza, all sorts of fun stuff, including s'mores, as well as breakfast on Saturday morning. It is an overnight lock-in. It begins at 6 o'clock tonight and ends at tomorrow morning at 10. Please contact the Riverbend Nature Center for more information. And it's $12 for members and $15 for non-members. Grandparents and Grandchildren Ice Fishing Event had been rescheduled. It's for tomorrow from 1.30 to 3.30 at Lake Chase. Free for kids and senior place members, $2 for adults who are not members. Hole drilling demonstrations is going to happen at 2 o'clock, 2.30 and 3 o'clock. And there will be prizes for the top three longest fish and for all kids who visit all the stations. So check that out this weekend from 1 to 3.30 at Lake Chase. And do want to remind you one last time that the murder of a millionaire is happening this weekend, also at 5.30, starting at 5.30 with the social hour, 6.30 with dinner. If you want more information, you can contact Steele County Clothesline for more information quickly. Uh, it is tomorrow night, and it sounds like a great fancy event for you to enjoy with your Valentine. Do want to thank you so much for joining us here on the Oatana Today Show. On Monday, we're going to be talking with Tim Penny, and as well as a quick peek at the OHS musical. Sounds like a lot of fun. We will see you then.